Here we are for another episode of this series, Sanctified with a Psalm. Today's psalm is Psalm 79 and Hymn 676 from the LSB. That's Hymn 676 from the Lutheran Service Book. Grace and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who went to the cross for us, who shed his blood for us, who washed us clean in that holy water we describe as the rite of baptism, washing us in that blood declaring us to be kings and priests. That means giving us the crown of righteousness and being the ones to be keepers of, holders of his word, keeping it sacred among us, holy, to serve God and his Father. To him be all glory, honor, and dominion. This is most certainly true. My name's Pastor Gordon Allen of Trinity Lutheran Church in Scarsdale, New York. You can find us at trinityscarsdale.org. Let's read the psalm. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies of your servants to the birds of the heavens for food, the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We have become a taunt to our neighbors, mocked and derided by those around us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your anger on the nations that do not know you and on the kingdoms that do not call upon your name, for they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his habitation. Do not remember against us our former iniquities. Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and atone for our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Let the avenging of the outpoured blood of your servants be known among the nations before our eyes. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. According to your great power, preserve those doomed to die. Return sevenfold into the lap of our neighbors the taunts with which they have taunted you, O Lord. But we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. And so we do just that by singing hymn 676 from the LSB. Behold a host arrayed in white, like thousand snow-clad mountains bright. With palms they stand, who is this band, before the throne of light? These are the saints of glorious fame, who from the great affliction came, and in the flood of Jesus' blood are cleansed from guilt and shame. They now serve God both day and night, they sing their songs in endless light, their anthems ring as they all sing with angels shining bright. Despised and scorned they sojourned here, but now how glorious they appear. Those martyrs stand, a priestly band, God's throne forever near. On earth they wept through bitter years, now God has wiped away their tears, transformed their strife, 
to heavenly life and freed them from their fears. They now enjoy the Sabbath rest, the heavenly banquet of the blessed. The Lamb, their Lord, at festive board, himself his host and guest. O blessed saints in bright array, now safely home in endless day, extol the Lord who with his word sustained you on the way. The steep and narrow path you trod, you toiled and sowed the word abroad. Rejoice and bring your fruits and sing before the throne of God. The myriad angels raise their song, O saints sing with that happy throng. Lift up one voice, let an rejoice in our Redeemer's song. So we pray. I am a sinner, Lord. Please forgive me. Remind me that it is by your suffering and pain, your stripes, your death, whereby I am healed. Remind me that it is your sacrifice that is my salvation. Thank you for this grace alone which saves. And Lord, sanctify me according to this truth. Your word is truth. As the truth sets me free, so it is your word sets me free. This is most certainly true, so let it be. The Lord continue to bless you. As again you meditate on his word, you let him say what is, and thereby uplift you. Because really, you and I have no say as to what really is. It is what it is. We know ourselves only too well. We know that we need saving from ourselves. We know that God is our salvation. He is our savior. He's always our savior, which means we're always the sinner until the last day when he shall bring to completion, to perfection, all that he has promised and begun, even in and through us, as he perfects us on the day of resurrection. Lord Jesus, come to that we put our hope on the last day, and even today as we look forward to it. So again, grace and peace be to you, and perhaps we'll see you next time for another episode of this series, Sanctified with a Psalm. Take care.